Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago Cubs and the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. All right, ready to go here. And starting this one is Nick Pavetta. What do we need to know here? Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. Second, the first baseman, number 18. Frank Schwindel, the next to hit. That one out to right. Bradley on his way in. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And a couple of quick outs. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Wilson Contreras. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Well, he looks to have some quality stuff on the hill today. Start this outing out. Pepper in the zone. Arm is loose and firing him in there. Tosses to first, and Contreras is retired. And that is the third out. Back here in Boston, and on the hill in this one, it'll be Marcus Strome. What do we have on him? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going. And how This one swung on and hit well. Way back there, and it's over the monster and off the billboard. Keith Gay Hernandez takes him deep, and that gives him a lead. It's 1 0. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. Rafael Devers up to him. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. Just a that cookie goes. down the middle. I mean, That's those are the ones job. you dream about. Never. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the Bogart. ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. It's Xander Bogarts now. Check swing, but he went too far. Gonna count one and two. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. Xander Bogart hits one out, and they add to the lead. It's 3-0. Now it's J.D. Martinez. Back to work, 3-2 now. Short hop liner handled it short. Fires to first, and Martinez is out. Batting fifth. Here's Alex Verdugo. Good contact guy, good defender. Out towards left center, half heading to the alley, pulls it in on the run. Out number two. That exists. The second baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Trevor Story now at the plate. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. Trevor Story bops one out of here. And they add on. It's 4 nothing. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient. And it paid off. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. Popped up. Foul territory behind the play. He makes the grab. And the inning is over. On to the second. Back here at Fenway Park. Ian Happ up to hit. Next pitch is outside. He's already pitching with a 4 0 lead, so we should see him be aggressive, fill up the strike zone, don't issue free passes. Swing and a miss, and the count's even at two. And Chris behind the plate today, James Kingsley, known for being a little generous on the edges. Line drive, base hit. Here's a big power threat. Patrick Wisdom. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. 
And now a full count. Pat leads off first with one away. And there's ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And a pitch. Hit on the ground, might be two. On to Bogarts. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. We go to the bottom of inning. Back inside Fenway Park, here's Christian Vasquez. Rolled over to third. Gets it to first. One up, one down. Batting none. Now it's the right, the right fielder, fielder, Jackie Bradley Jackie. Jr. Bradley. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Towards first, Schwindel gloves it. He'll do it himself. Two up, two down. The center fielder, number five. Here's Kike Hernandez. Kike. Hernandez. And the 2 2. Three. And down on strikes. Out number three. Nothing doing for Boston, but they're in front for nothing. Back here in Boston, top half of the third inning, and the batter will be the shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. The 1 1. Ground ball, left side. Devers throws on to first, and one away in the top of the third. Good late bite on that slider, that got the hitter out in front, rolled base over base. on it. Exactly Nick. what it was supposed to do. Madrigal. Here's Nick Madrigal. Next offering is in for a strike. One down, base is empty. And now the count filled up three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Kicks and deals. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Hernandez under it, makes the catch, and there's two away. Oh, Rafael Ortega come. stands in. The center fielder. Here comes a pitch. Rafael. And he pumps it a strike. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Welcome back. Down the third baseman, Rafael Devers. And he deals. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. Rafael Devers rounds the bases, and they add a run. It's five zip. Let's take another look at it, but this time with the help of StatCast. Well, this one wasn't hit that high, but when you can launch it at 111 miles per hour off the bat and get some backspin, it'll carry enough to get out of here. And here comes Sander Bogarts. Snags it on the run. One away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard oh, and right at someone. Look looking for one of those hitter. bloop hits to get a knock Jackie. sometimes. Martinez. That one ripped left field. Bangs off the wall. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's it. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way, gone. 
That one felt good, and they tack on to their lead. It's 7-0. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Daniel Norris taking over on the mound. He's into the game with the bases empty. One down. Now it's going to be Trevor Story. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. Banks off the wall. He's in at second with a one-out double. One out, runner at second. And now Bobby Dahlbeck. First time up was a pop-out. The 2-2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's two down. And now it's Christian Vasquez. Grounded out his first time. Man on second, two down. Rip back to the mound, and that got him. Makes the catch, inning over. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 7-0. Start of the fourth, leading off Frank Schwindel. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. All over that one right there. He put a great swing on that now ball, took the barrel yeah. right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Right-hander kicks, deals. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Wilson Contreras blasts one out. And they slice into the lead. It's 7-2. Well, you can never fault a guy for going after a hitter in a 3-2 count. He tried to challenge him, but just didn't have enough to get it by him. Really good swing. A nice home run. Ian Happ, the next Cub to hit. And he's already singled in this game. You know, Singy, they talk about Red Sox nation, but there is something to that because... The Boston Red Sox aren't just about Boston or Massachusetts. It's that whole New England area. So you're talking about Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Northern Connecticut. There's a whole segment of the country that is locked in on the Boston Red Sox pitch to pitch throughout the summer. The punch out there, two away. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Swing and a pop-up. Story drifts towards it. He's got it, and that ends the inning. Cubs had two on this homer. It's 7-2. Back in Boston, now here is Jackie Bradley Jr. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Hayward makes the play, one up, one down. They travel really well, and I think Red Sox fans are sprinkled all over the, the country. So the batting five. order turns over, Enrique. and it's stepping in for Boston, oh, Enrique Hernandez. Hernandez. The 1-1. One, one. That to right. Hayward giving chase. Takes it in for the out. Now that Here's Rafael Devers. Baseman. Rafael Devers. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Red Sox go down one, two, three. 
all set for the start of the inning. So up now for Chicago, Jason Hayward. Ground ball right side. Steps on first for the out. Now it's Andrelton now Simmons. Shortstop. The two on. Andrelton Simmons. Hey. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. And that one is lifted in the air. Bradley on his way over, makes the grab for the second out. The batter Two outs, one. base is empty. Base. Nick Madrigal, Nick the next Cub to hit. Madrigal. Righty to the plate. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. The throw, third out. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. And we're back here at Fenway Park. And here is Xander Bogarts. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And now two and two. Two two now. That's hard hit on the line. That's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Maybe a little out front of the pitch right there, but he squared it up pretty good, and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. Dives back. Ow! Man, you're feeling so good. You just got the knock. You're on base, and then right away you get picked off. That's just a tough one to swallow, especially after leading off an inning with a single. Hit hard, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Now the batter now, Alex Verdugo. That's a laser base hit. Martinez around third, throws to second. He pulls into second as a run scores. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. That one drilled left field. It bangs off the wall. Runner from second crosses the plate. And it's 9-2. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog, and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Ortega makes the grab. Two down. So here's Christian Vasquez. At the belt and fires. That one hammered center field. This one's got a chance. Didn't quite have enough. We're through five. It's the Red Sox. Top six. Here's the Cubs leadoff man. Rafael Ortega. Ball to strike. Swing and a ball popped up. And Vasquez able to pull it down. And there's one down. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Brodansky. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. 
A little out front there as he swings through it. Right through there, got him. And that is that. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit. The Back here at Fenway, John Shopping with Chris Singleton in the booth. Bradley waits. Line to left. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double. You got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Now, Enrique Hernandez. That one's carrying. That's down. One hops off the wall. He's in safely at second. A run comes in on the play. Picks himself up at RBI. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Jesse Chavez. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And he did a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Fires over to Schwindel. Bogart's retired. Here's J.D. Martinez. Hernandez at second with two down. J.D. Martinez. That one blasted deep to right. Way back there. And forget it. J.D. Martinez the other way. And they add to their lead. It's 12-2. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Here's the left fielder, Alex. Verdugo. Two outs. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And Verdugo is set down. That is the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Ian Happ. There comes a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. And so the Red Sox go to the bullpen. Ryan Brazier. And a healthy sized lead for him to go to work with. And here it comes. And delivers outside. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And now one away. Didn't agree with the call at the plate right there. Now, Book, in a game like this, that's just too close to take. It's a blowout game. Guys have been out here for a while. Umpire's saying, hey, let's go. Cut it loose. Swing the bat. Wouldn't you say in today's game of baseball, though, it's changed a little bit. The umpires, even in a blowout, seem to be more cognizant of the fact that they're being judged. So you don't get as many of those fringy-type blowout calls as maybe you did you know, back in the old days when you played. A hundred percent. I mean, the analytics are there, and also hitters aren't willing to give up an at-bat regardless of the score. Ask Fernando Tatis Jr. Out to short, and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. There's nothing cheap now, about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, Please. caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Right-handed reliever stays alive. And that's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Two on with one out. And now the right fielder, Jason Hayward. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's a rocket out to left. Verdugo pulls that one down, and there's two down. 
Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to now fall. Batting. Maybe next time Shortstop. up he'll find a hole. Andrelton. Now it's Andrelton Simmons. Devers. Tosses across the first. That ends the frame. Cubs stranded. And welcome back. Here's Trevor's story. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And that one is gone. Bobby Dolbeck blasts one out. And they tack one on the board. It's 13-2. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one. And everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension. And just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Keegan Thompson comes on now. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Makes the catch for the second out. Now Two outs, base is empty. Jackie Bradley Jr. a chance to hit. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Got him. That's out number three. The Red Sox pick up a run on the homer. Eighth inning coming up. You're done. Ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Madrigal. And the pitch. On the ground, right side. Dahlbeck takes it himself, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now batting. Rafael Ortega getting Rafael ready to hit. Ortega. Bounced up the middle. Bogarts with the throw to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now batting. So up next, Number Frank 18. Schwindel. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the... And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And that's the third out. Back here in Boston, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Enrique Hernandez. The pitch. And a foul ball, third base side. And a swing and a miss, and one away. Not a very good curveball right there, but sometimes those high breaking balls kind of surprise you as a hitter. And when they stay high, have just a little more velo on them to get by you. And that two strike count, I thought it was a pretty good pitch to hit. I think he got a little too excited and tried to do too much. On the ground at first, slides, but he can't come up with it. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the no line. Matter. Nice that's job of standing in the mechanics. Here's Xander Bogarts. Bogarts. He swings and fouls one off. Devers stands at first with one out. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Simmons to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. Through eight full. Back here at Fenway Park, and here's the catcher, Wilson Contreras. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty delivers. Just misses with that one. Bounce to the left side, and it goes just foul. New pitcher for the Red Sox, Darwin's in Hernandez. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Hernandez. And a foul ball, he stays alive. 2-2 now. Swing and a miss, struck him out. 
And that's the first down. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Got him looking. And two away now. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third now strikeout, and this one looking, field. obviously, Patrick. so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Two and one now. Breaking ball in there for a strike. That one ripped, and he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait.